Good morning. Happy Monday morning. Everybody have a good weekend. I'm slow this morning. I think it's, yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock. And I'm just now getting my makeup on. So I thought I'd bring you on and uh, show you what I do today. And if you have any questions, if you like something you see, let me know. And I'm going to hook you up. Um, I've already moisturized my face and got my primer on. Um, I don't have a unique primer yet, um, so I just used a Neutrogena primer that I already had. But I'm going to use the um, the Serum Plus Foundation. This is what I've been using um, for the last couple of weeks, and I really, really, really like it. So, um, so you have to shake it up because it does have anti-aging serums in it, hyaluronic in it, all the good stuff is in there and you want to shake it up, make sure it's mixed all the way through. So anyway, um, depending on how many drops you use as to how much coverage you get, um, I like full coverage, so, um, I put about five drops on my brush. I always start in the center, but I'm just gonna do one side first so you can kind of see. Um, because I have so much redness. And so, it definitely helps me to smooth out and get rid of that redness. I don't know how many of you ladies out there have rosacea. You can see that I have rosacea, and so it's a it's a constant battle. But I've had it from about the age of twenty eight. Look at there. And when I tell you I'm 57, about to be 58 next month, this month, this month on the 21st, um, and I, I needed a change. So look at the, look at the coverage and this for me personally, because of my skin situation, um, only setting I do is directly under my eyes because this serum foundation, it just sets. It sets and it doesn't move. It does not transfer. You may need to set yours. Like I said, I only set the T-zone for me. Um, I'm gonna add a couple more drops. As I come over here. Um, then I'm using the shade Eyelet. I can color match you if you want to try it. It is a love it guarantee, so guarantee to love it or send it back. Can you get your money back? I am such a creature habit, and um, when I find, and I guess it's because of my my rosacea, when I find something that works, like I don't want to, I'm scared to change because I never know how bad the flare-up will be, but I said, you know what, <clears throat> if I don't try to make a change, I'm going to be right here where I am. Never getting any better if I don't, so, or seeing any improvement, so. I love it. What do y'all think?
If you decide you want to be color matched, you can comment match or you can send me a message. Let me know you want to color match and I will match you. Now I always take my sponge when I'm done and go over my face. And y'all, I haven't even put concealer on yet. Just wait. And I'm never gonna, like I said, I'm only gonna show y'all products that obviously that I have and that I've used. And uh, there's a lot of products I haven't used yet. So I'm not gonna try to sell you on something if I haven't used it. So, anyway. Now, I'm gonna use the concealer. This is Scarlet, and it only takes a tiny, tiny bit. I just kind of stipple. I don't ever really swipe because I feel like you you remove your product when you do that. Oh, it's brightening. Swear when I put this on, I just feel like I have gone in for a full makeover. Let's see, that looks good. And that's it. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna. I'm gonna contour. This is really just foundation, but it's just a really dark. This is their stick foundation in Chenille. And I'm just gonna warm my face up. I have not done my hair yet, y'all, so y'all gonna look at it while I'm going through this transition in life with this hair. I will say though that. It's improving all the time, so. Um, I do under my neck and all this, but I kind of dab it, because a little goes a long way. It's so pigmented. I just kind of dab it. Like that. And then I always start under here because if you've ever forgotten to do it, blend it in, you will never do it again. I used to not blend down here first, but I have forgotten a couple of times. I'm like, okay, I better start here. <laughs> I have an inspection today. So, I'm going to do that. I got some paperwork I got to do, contract. I've got to get sent to all the right places. And I'm much later getting started than I plan to. And I'd like to get a workout in today, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes.
I like to come over here. Dig in a stipple because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be blending that better. But when I'll, at the beginning, I don't blend it all the way in. I just stipple and just kind of spread it out. And I love this brush. This is the Kabuki brush, and I love it. Love it. Love it. Y'all well, have to let me know if there's things you want to see um, as I get more and more comfortable doing this. I love it. I've never done it for anybody or in front of anybody. But look. See how creamy it is? It's so creamy. And I'm going to dab under my eyes again. I always like to let it sit just a minute and move my eyes around. Because, you know, when you have movement, your makeup uh, can crease under the eye. So, I give it a minute. I let it do its thing. And then I go back and I blot again. And then I'm going to set it. And I'm telling you, I never, I don't touch this makeup up this makeup all day. I don't touch it up. It stays put. It doesn't transfer onto anything. I'm looking for my powder. Oh, here it is. It doesn't transfer onto anything. I just love it. Um, this powder I'm using here, it's a translucent, but it's the older. They have a newer one. I don't have it yet, but this is their older one, but it'll do it. I like to use like a big fluffy brush because it kind of gets down in there. And again, I like to push and to kind of stipple. And then I just take the extra and I do this. But I got something. I got something on my face. Hold on. I see it. Okay, I got it. And then I'll take my sponge again and just push. I'm going to add a little bit more. I like a dewy look, so I don't want to be matted everywhere. Um, and my skin texture is, you know, I'm normal to dry. And, of course, in the winter, more dry than normal. So, I just don't need a lot of powder. It um, does its own thing, and I just don't need it. So, anyway, there's that. And... <clears throat> I'm gonna do my blush before I do my bronzer. So this is the blush. This is sisterly. Let's see if I can get it up there. This is really pretty. It's a um it's a pink, but it's got a little bit of um peachy, orangey pink, you know, so it could go either way. And um It right there. I don't like heavy blush, um, but I definitely like a good blush. I just want it to be the right color. I don't think you should skip your blush. And, you know, 
just kind of push up with it, but I like to have it on the apples of my cheeks. I know a lot of people are just starting it way up here, but I like it right here. But I have I have high cheekbones, even, even though they're lower than they used to be. They're still kind of high. But you can see, I still have some blending to do, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that with this big brush when I put my bronzer on. So, first I do it on the high points, which would be here and here. So I'll go here, here, and then I bring it under here. I get the excess off under here. That's what I do. And then I blend it. And I blended everything into my hairline. And then I lightly, I lightly start doing that. And see, this is a powder, so it's setting anything that needs to be set. It's setting it, so that's why I don't put extra powder. So I go here and here. Anytime you're putting a product on, whether it's eyeshadow or a bronzer, you know, you tap it where you want the most product. And then I use here to clean my brush off. I'll go down here, bring it down. Then I go back up and I'll push into my hairline. And then come back here at the end of your brush because you have less pressure and do some blending. Okay, so we got that. Now, I am going to take my rose water and I'm going to spritz my face because I like to put a little moisture back in it. I don't want it to look, I don't want mine to look matte. And that makes me feel alive. Makes me feel alive. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So let's see. Um, I'm gonna brush my brows up, but I'm not gonna do my brows yet. I like to, don't ask me why I do it in the order that I do it. Um, I just do. So, today I'm just gonna go real simple. Um, I'm gonna go real simple, but I'm gonna use this palette right here. A good friend of mine fixed that up for me, and I think it's a good, it's actually a good everyday palette. Um, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start by using this color. Um, this is called Understood, since I'm wearing pink today. And it's actually a peachy pink, but I'm gonna kind of put it sort of all over, and I'm going, I pretty much go all the way up to my brow line, which is a lot of the reason why I don't like to do my brows first, because I like to get all the way up there. Now, this took me a long time to get used to doing because, you know, forever you left a lot of space up there by your brow and you put all the white shadow. That's not really the style now, so I've had to learn how to transition. Transition. Try not to keep that in my 
my contacts. If you wear contacts, you know what I mean. Because once we get it in there, puts a film over my eyes and I can't see. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in with Fervent. That's my my darkest color. Get that bit off. Anyway, remember I tell you, put it where you want the most product. So this is dark and I'm gonna blend it, but when I initially put it on my lid, I wanna put it where I want it. So I want it in this corner, so that's where I'm gonna dab it. Just like that. I'm having to look in a mirror to see. I got old eyes. <laughs> so this is where I want to put it. And I just kind of swirl it. And I have hooded eyes. Um, so I come way up with mine so that you can see it. If you don't have hooded eyes, of course, you don't have to do that. I may not have my angle right. see yeah so I'm gonna do the other again put it where you know you want the most pigment so I place it right there in that corner and I dab it and I start swirling it Can you see better? I don't know if y'all can see better. It might make it worse for you, but I need the light, so let me turn it up. And then I always just take the leftover and come down here and do a little. some under here. And this is fervent. I like this color. It looks, this lighting looks.
guess you can see. Anyway. So, let's do... I'm going to go back into my uh, pinky color here. I'm actually going to use my fluffy brush. And I'm going to add more. And then this light color here, I'm going to use this to sort of blend the two together. Up at the eyebrow. So I want to bring it all the way up. And then Optimistic, which is this color, I'm going to put this in the crease and in the corner of my eye. I say the crease, the inner corner of my eye. Brighten that up, and I'm gonna blend it. So I don't know. I don't know how to zoom that, so I don't know if we can zoom. go in, I have another palette, but I think I'm going to go in with this really deep brown. This is called Marvelous, and I am going to go in next to my lash line with that. Um, let me find. Because I'm not going to use eyeliner. I don't. I don't use it on a daily. Just kind of push up a little to blend it. See, it needed that. That deepens it a lot. Okay, before I do my mascara, though, this is when I do my lashes. So, I know that's a crazy order, but I can't help it. 
I'm gonna have to look into this, this mirror here. While I brush them up. Um, I used to put a gel on first and then put my color, but this pencil here is by Revlon and it's actually got the, um, like the wax pomade in with the color. So I just don't need to, it goes on much better. This is Auburn, so this is what I use. And I'm just gonna do something quick. I am not doing anything fancy. Just following my lashes, my brow, my brows, my brow hairs, and filling them in where they're gappy. And I may need to learn to adjust my camera a little as I do this. So y'all bear with me. Everybody needs brows. Now my brows are not the same. So, and this one right here, this one right here is a pain. Cause it's just, it's on my wrong side. But the hairs grow so different on this side versus this side. And I have learned, and that looks terrible, I have learned that the less I try to make it perfect, the better that they look. They can get, they can get crazy. <sighs> okay, let me get in close here. Excuse me a minute while I try to. Any of y'all out there have monovision contacts? If you know, you know. You know what I'm dealing with. Okay. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna leave it alone. Yeah. I think I'm gonna leave it alone. Now, what I do when I decide I'm finished is um, I take I take my big fluffy brush like that I was putting my bronzer on, and I just go in the center, and and, and I just pat. And I kind of put, I'm kind of pushing up. And it just softens. It softens those edges without, without removing the product. Because you know how that goes. You get it and you keep, you use your spoolie and it takes it off. So anyway, that's what I do. So I think that's good. I'm going to leave it alone. No more brows now lashes I don't curl my lashes on the daily 
but I do curl them. Where's my lash curler? Uh, well, I was gonna curl them. If I can find my lash curler. You ever know that you're looking at it? Hold on. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh, I found it. <laughs> Y'all have never used a heated lash curler? This little thing is the bomb. The bomb. Only thing is I have pretty wild lashes, especially on this eye. They're long and they, in the corner, they stick straight down and I can't always get them in this curler, so. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. So anyway, it's, it's actually pink. Part of it's still pink. It's pink when it's cold and then it's, um, it turns clear when it's warm, so it's almost warm. It doesn't take it long, about 30 seconds to warm up. And if it gets to where it's not, um, it's staying pink, it needs, it needs a new battery, but it's warming up. And again, um, I used the Serum Plus Foundation, so it's their touch with um, anti-aging serum in the foundation and it is so so good so so good and then um the touch concealer and i used the shade scarlet and then i used the cream foundation so they do have stick foundations and i'm gonna get uh i'm gonna get the same color in uh eyelet so that i can start trying it too um i think it's just kind of it's just a different option, but I'm going to try it. But all I have in it is this chenille, and this is what I use to contour, to warm my face up. So, all right, so let's curl my lashes. Um, let's try to get where y'all can see what I'm doing. Make sure I get them in there. And I hold it. One, two, three, four. That's good. You can see I've got some straight ones right there. Anyway, then I just turn it off. So let them cool just like you would if you were curling your hair. Let them cool before you do anything with them. And what I'm going to show you today is the Twisted Mascara. Um, because this is just an everyday look. And, uh, and this is a great mascara. And this is what I've been showing y'all. So it's a two-in-one. So you have the really, really tiny wand, and then you have the larger regular wand. And um, all kinds of ways you can use it, but what I like to do, for me, I have small eyes, um, so I like to use the tiny wand to put my first coat on and for the bottom lashes, and then I go in with the larger wand and finish it out. So, now that they're cool, I gotta have some water, y'all. And I need something, my lips. This is the lip mask. I'm just gonna put a little of this on. I should have already done it. Because my lips are so dry. I look so much better. Dry lips are not attractive. <laughs> okay. So, 
Let's do our lashes. Get up here where I can see. I hope y'all can see too. Let me hold it. Up to next to the lash line. Where I concentrate is on the lash line to begin with. And then I start coming up. To coat those lashes. go. See how it looks like I have liner on? That's why I love this tiny, tiny wand. Okay, let me go to the bottom. I don't know how to do this with my mouth closed. To dip it one more time and get more on my lower lashes. And that is just one coat. Now my creature of habit self wants to do both eyes at the same time, but honestly, you don't need to do that. You need to do one eye at a time because your mascara dries more on one side than the other, and then it doesn't want to, doesn't do as pretty because it doesn't layer. Okay, so let's go in with the big wand. Come on. <laughs> that looks so good. I need to get my little wand back out from my lower. And I'm also going to use this little wand to separate. It's so good to put your lashes. Now, I just got mascara on me, but don't touch it. You get mascara, just let it dry. 
if you let it dry, it'll just flake off. I've got one lash. You can see I have one lash sticking straight out. I'm floored every time I use it. Isn't that something? All right, let me get over here and do this eye. All right, now I gotta look in my mirror, so. Y'all can't see a darn thing, can you? Again, if you have mono vision contacts, you understand the depth perception problem I can have. Don't pump your mascara because it dries it out. You just need to twist it. Don't pump it. And again, this is just using the little wand first. Okay. And now we're gonna go in with the big wand. Get my little wand out and separate them. Good gracious, I can't get over it. What have I been waiting for? Hello. Yeah. 
so good. All right, and then I got mascara over here, so I'll let it dry and it'll just, it'll come off. So what do you think? I love it. Twisted mascara. So good. Um, all right. Lips, that's all I got left to do. Now y'all know, if I wasn't sitting here talking, it wouldn't take me 50 minutes to do this. But let me, uh, get my lip liner. Um, okay, this lip liner is, um, this is by Sephora and this is called Bellflower. I think I showed it to y'all the other day. But I just kind of love it for every day get my mirror close up. Now I'll follow my natural lip line. from my first, um, from my first draw. And then I sort of start extending it over drawing a little bit. So I like to just make sure, um, it really depends on what kind of look you're going for. So if I want, if I want my lip to look fuller, say just a little fuller at the bow, um, I'll literally just round that off and and then just deepen uh just draw right toward the center of my lower lip just to give it that look but then sometimes if i'm going for a real dramatic look i'm going to overline everything but uh, we're just going to do the top and the bottom a little today and my lips are not symmetrical most people's are not but I have a scar over here on this side. So I always have to tweak it to match this side. Again, it's not perfect and I'm not gonna make it be perfect. So I'm gonna Now, that is just overlining over the top of the bow altogether and not shaping it, just rounding it, just making a straight line across it. So, and then just deepening that. And then I just take my finger and tap it. Kind of pushing down towards my lip. Okay, so there's that. There's my top. And I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna put a little of this 
splash lipstick on. But it's kind of. It's really purple, but I'll brighten it back up. So I'll show you. This is called Purple Vein, is what this is called. This is the Splash Liquid Lip. So, I like to use my finger. because I don't want a thick coat. Let me put a little at the top. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my concealer and I'm gonna put a little dot in the center. Like the tiniest amount. There's that. <clears throat> um, and then I'm going to take the lip mask and I'm going to put the lip mask over it. And that's it. That's going to be my, it's going to be my gloss. Made a pretty pinky color. So that's it. <clears throat> so that's the finished look. Um, I'm gonna, I'll post a link and um, in the uh, description when I post the video. And uh, if there's anything I can help y'all with, uh, if you have any questions, any direction I can take you, if you wanna be color matched, just message me, uh, color match. Um, if you want uh, information on a skincare, our skincare uh, <clears throat> is twenty percent off this month, the month of January. So uh, let me know that, and I can send you that information. Um, the twisted mascara. Let me know if you're interested in that. I will hook you up. And again. Um, This is, if you like full coverage, you will love this. And I can tell you, the further I get back, the better it looks. But when I tell you that will stay on all day, I kid you not. It just looks better throughout the day. So I'm ready to go. I'm going to go do something with his hair. Um, all right, and enjoy spending the morning with y'all. Have a good day. Let me know if I can help you. And uh, I will be back in touch soon. Bye. <laughs>